Nick Fendorch here and welcome back for part number 3 and the final part of this first impression gameplay of the Gun Running DLC that has been released yesterday for GTA Online. So we jump a little bit in time because as you can see I already made a little bit of money but in this final episode I'm gonna show you all the unlocks by research so I, I actually unlocked everything by night and that means all the tins all the upgrades for your vehicles and all the upgrades for your guns and i'm gonna also show you all the upgrades on the vehicles the upgrades on the guns itself i'm gonna show you the bodysuit and also the anti-aircraft uh, trailer so here you can see when you head back to your, tr um, uh, sorry, to my laptop, as you can see here, I already unlocked everything. So it took me a while, but I finally got it done. So all the upgrades for your guns, for the vehicles, all the tints, all the extras are all unlocked. So what I actually basically did is I speed up the research and pay for the fast track. Uh, so I don't have to do that anymore. So I can actually show you everything, what is available uh, upgrade wise on everything. As you can see here, I didn't uh, assign my stuff to research or both anymore because the only thing what I now need to do is manufacture and sell that. I'm not going to show you that part because that is all basically the same as the bikers businesses. But I'm going to show you all the upgrades on the vehicles, on the weapons, the bodysuit, and of course the anti-aircraft trailer. So first thing what we're gonna do is head back to Warstock, here you go. And like in the previous episodes I showed you when I buy this mobile operation center, I choose bay 2 and 3 to be separate um, rooms, okay? So I just found it out that you need to combine, so the second one, you need to combine the weapon here you go so the weapon workshop and the vehicle workshop as one so don't separate them so don't make a, um, a separated weapon uh, area and then separated storage for your personal vehicle so just combine them together and that makes it actually a mod shop a workshop where you can modify your vehicles okay so it will not work when you keep it separated like what i did just make it into one and it should take room number two and three okay so i head outside now and i'm gonna take my first vehicle inside and this one is the half truck so it's half truck and half tank uh what i like to prefer to call it so i'm gonna bring this car inside and i'm gonna start modify this first vehicle right over here so after i actually speed up everything about it especially the research was quite costly because every time you try to speed up you have to pay over two hundred thousand dollars for it so it can become actually a quite expensive one if you want to speed it up but only you can do that obviously if you have the money so here you go i'm gonna drive the half truck behind the mock trailer just hit right d-pad to enter the mod shop as you can also see on the right hand it's the anti-aircraft trailer already bought I uh, didn't record it, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to modify that one as well. So here you go, I just brought it inside my trailer. So this is the only place where you can actually modify all your new Warstock vehicles. You can't modify it at Los Santos Customs or Benny's, it won't allow you. So this is the only location where you can actually modify that. So as you can see here, I'm gonna scroll um, through everything. Uh, obviously, these updates are not visible on the outside, so um, I'm gonna buy the most expensive things for you guys. And as you uh, follow the video, you can also see how that looks like. So, before you're spending your money, uh, is it worth to spend it all? I think it is, uh, because these vehicles are quite, they're looking quite heavy, but they are very flexible to drive, very easy to drive, um, great acceleration, great power. So it actually don't need all these upgrades, but it even makes it better. Okay, so here you go. I'm going to choose for one standard uh, livery, and this is actually what I like, the large uh, geometric one. And I'm also going to change it all into black, because I like it black. It's mean. I like that combination. Black and white, I also do like that. But here you go. I'm going to put some uh, mine behind it, so you can actually drop the mine 
and as soon as it detects a vehicle that's drive over it, it will actually blows up. But as you can see, the upgrade already costs you almost one hundred thousand dollars. So just spend it if you have the money on it. Um, okay, I'm gonna choose black here. Go secondary. I'm also gonna do black metallic as well. As you can also see, not every part of the vehicle will change into that color that you actually want. Um, here you go. The selling price at this moment is already 1.5 million. So I still have a couple of updates to do. And it should bring you around, I think, 1.7 or 1.8. Uh, here you go. Turbo, weapons. So here you go. So this is the big upgrade. And you can only unlock this upgrade by doing the research. So you can't actually select what kind of research you want to do first. So it's going to choose randomly for you. Uh, for example, the bodysuit, it is one of the 10 latest upgrades. So you have to do a lot of research before you can actually unlock that bodysuit that looks like the juggernaut suit. So here you go. Uh, as you can see, it's mean. I like it. So I'm going to kick this vehicle outside again. So this is the half truck. Um, yeah. I just put all the most expensive upgrades on it, which is available. Um, so this should how it looks like when you uh, fully maxed out this half truck. Uh, of course, delivery can change by itself. Obviously, also the color. It is all depending on what you like. So I'm gonna head back to the mock. Uh, I'm gonna head to this anti-aircraft trailer first. Okay, so you can bring that out by hitting the interaction menu and then request by vehicle. It will actually deliver it with you with the pickup truck. Here, go customize the anti-aircraft trailer. So there's not a lot of things available. A delivery, um, delivery, you have to unlock it first, obviously, by doing research. Um, but I'm gonna head for this one, the large geometric. Uh, it's already been covered. Respray, I'm gonna of course stick with the black. Here you go. Lovely. Okay, the secondary also. Here you go. Black. Nice looking thing. Okay, the last one is the weapon. Uh, you can choose. This is the basic stand one. The second one is the humming missile. And, uh, uh, and the third one is a flak. A duo 20 millimeters flak. But I like the humming missile. Here you can see how mean and bad it looks like so i'm gonna choose for this one this one is also the most expensive update um, of the one that you can actually choose so i'm gonna stick with this one and there you have it not a lot of options so when we head back to the mock and go to the cap uh, let's see what we can change um here you go so this is also not visible with the upgrades as you can see on the screen I'm gonna do this one respray. Um, it's already been black, but uh, let me see if I can change it. Yep. So I can change it to metallic black. Here you go. And the secondary was already black, um, so it's gonna stay on that one. Um, I believe it is. Here you go. Yep. So I'm gonna stay on black. And suspension. Yeah, you can see that it's I lowered the cap a little bit. Uh, transmission turbo you can't see any changes uh, wheels are gonna make them bulletproof the rest I actually don't care about that um, here you go so the windows I can change it also into black and this uh, cap or mock you can't actually sell it um, so I think once you have it uh, you can't get rid of it um livery okay none so there's no livery available for the um, for the truck loader itself uh, but this is a very nice thing you can actually put a custom plate on it so maybe in the future we can do something about this with some glitches um here you go uh, obviously you can choose a lot of colors but i'm gonna stick with the black i also saw some pictures with black and secondary red color I like that combination as well, but I'm gonna stick with the black for this one for right now. So this is the Night Rider truck from the series back in the 80s. Uh, it looks very nice. So with the weapon, what you can do is, um, obviously you already have a weapon at the front, uh, as you can see on the screen, but you can also put them at the back. So in the mobile center inside the truck loader, you can have your friends also join you and sit behind the desk and remote control the guns for you. Here you go. We are just finishing customizing the cap, the truck loader, and the anti-aircraft trailer. So the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep continue 
putting all the most expensive upgrades on the new Warstock vehicles. Okay, here you go. Um, I'm gonna head over to Warstock again. I'm gonna buy myself the bodysuit first. Here you go. I have it already unlocked the ballistic equipment, but I'm just gonna call it the bodysuit. Here you go. Um, let's skip to the next one. So this one is the Dune FAV. Uh, looks like Dune buggy, but of course uh, with a military outfit. So I'm gonna drive it back to the mock again, right D-pad, and bring it inside the mod shop, inside the mobile operation center. Here you go. And once again, um, you do need to have the weapon and uh, the workshop combined together or it will not work so if you buy it as a separate uh, two rooms uh, the second one for weapons and the third one for personal vehicle storage it will not work so you have to choose for the option that combines uh, room two and room number three together to actually get the mod shop inside your uh, uh, the trailer here you go as you can see um there's not a lot of changes that's actually changed uh, some protection at the front as you can see um, I did like the color um, the cream color um, but like I told you I'm gonna make all my vehicles black and mean with the large geometric livery um, so it's uh, fitting with the rest of the line here you go you can't actually yeah by the delivery or delivery delivery can't actually see that there is a lot of changes but here you go I'm gonna lower this one so with some vehicles you have a lot of visible things that you can change about the vehicle and with the other not here you can see obviously the uh, the weapons so these upgrades you can only unlock them by doing the research if you can't wait you can fast forward the research but you have to pay $225,000 worth I believe for every single research and there's a lot of them I believe it's 30 or 40 research which you can complete so um, it's gonna take a while so if you have the money you can fast forward it like what I did as you can see here after all the upgrades I put on it you can sell this thing for $940,000 only for this thing already so I hope that the guys that uh, finding duplication money glitches can actually find something also with this one and uh, so you can actually make a lot of money of it and the upcoming vehicles there's actually even one vehicle that is worth selling up more than two million dollars so if it is possible to dupe these vehicles and actually sell them we have a new big duplication money glitch going on if it is possible so i hope these guys can fix it and uh, make it happen so the third car we're gonna bring inside the mod shop is the weaponized tampa is of course based on the normal tampa uh yeah the paint job is very bad on this uh, car and uh, it's it, yeah it's not suiting the car uh, but as you can see when we put up the the armor plating it looks like the car from the movie Mad Max uh, if you haven't seen them Mad Max 1 uh, and Mad Max number 2 that came out last year I believe it was uh, so this car is looking quite nice and similar to the cars that is inside that movie so as you can see here there is a lot of visual uh, things that you can actually change uh, but it also um, um, yeah with all those visible things you can't actually see the livery as you can see right now on the screen because it's actually uh, covered it a little bit um, but I'm gonna stick with my design here you go uh, again with this vehicle you can also put a custom plate on it uh, I'm gonna change the color to metallic black again here you go so this one actually does not suit that well the black and geometric combination I think maybe to keep it uh, the sand color the cream color it will be um, better for this one uh, but what the heck so these are the weapons upgrade that you can actually choose so there's a missile launcher and as you can see it's actually inside the grill at the front of the car so that's a very nice detail I think this is the car uh, with the most uh, weapon upgrades that you can actually put on it so here you go the it's called the rear firing uh, mortar and I believe it is like shooting grenades from the back so that's also a very nice thing and of course the double miniguns 
and it looks very bad so this one is um, uh, with weapon when, when you look at the weapons for the upgrade of the vehicle this one I believe is one of the best to go so here you go uh, what else can we change um, the wheels maybe some bulletproof tires um, I'm gonna not, not gonna put everything on it but I'm gonna definitely choose the most expensive things out and that actually um, can come out handy so if you want to sell this car it's uh, worth almost 1.6 million dollars and because this one is also having a custom plate i believe when this car can be duped can you imagine we have ourselves a better car than the lowriders when there is a new du dupe duplication coming out uh, with this dlc i hope so so here you go this is the weaponized tampa um which you can actually sell for 1.6 million so why does this car is actually worth that much it is all because of the upgrades you put on it so the next vehicle it is of course the oppressor and it's like a voltic like a voltic motorbike because this thing can fly uh, you can press a button and you can see the wings are even more expanding out uh, obviously the rocket engine and you can also shoot with a minigun I believe it is uh, what's on this uh, motorbike so let's see what we can actually change about this odd looking uh, motorbike um, it's not the best looking bike uh, I can assure you that but uh, when it comes with the future that comes with it um, the futures the feature sorry um, yeah the the rocket of course the rocket engine uh, you can fly with it and uh, actually pretty high and it also comes with a gun the only missing thing is actually a parachute um, so here you go I'm gonna put some uh, visible upgrades also on it uh, delivery uh, yeah I'm gonna stick with the geometric one here you go so it's not very visible on this one it was already black and white and changing delivery won't help a lot here you can see you can put some fenders on it um, as well at the front and the back we did change the tank of it um, here you, see, you can see the color so it's quite um, looking similar like uh, when we brought this vehicle inside so we're gonna put a mini seat on it uh, yeah there's not much different about it and it's definitely not functional so here you go I'm just gonna spend five thousand dollars for it okay here you go uh, so when you want to sell this as is it's 2.2 million already um, so here you go we're gonna put the turbo on it some weapons and we can put some missiles on it here you go another one hundred eighty thousand dollars so the upgrades are quite expensive so you definitely do need the money for it before you after you research them and you unlock them you also need to buy them so maxed out it is 2.3 million dollars here you go so maybe for in the future um, a bike duplication money glitch this one is definitely the one to go 2.3 million dollar as is and i haven't even put the gold um, uh, paint on it so the price maybe will even reach to 2.4 or maybe 2.5 million so the last vehicle of the warstock collection uh, line it is the the apc so it's like a mobile tank i call it here you go i'm gonna bring it to the mock and this one is the last uh, warstock vehicle of the um, uh, gun running dlc that came out so here you go i'm gonna change this also and obviously you can also drive this vehicle inside the water i think i'm not sure i haven't tried it yet but it kind of looks like it can also um afloat or drive in the water and uh, here you go i'm gonna change the livery and obviously because this vehicle is quite big uh service wise you can see the livery popping out and as you can see when i hit the paint and it looks absolutely mean and bad and it's quite nice looking apc um but not a lot of things you can change on it but here you go the sam battery um yeah it's like six bazookas um, big missiles which, which you can put on it and that's about it there's not a lot of things which you can actually put visible on this vehicle so as you can see here um 
let me see sell selling price is 2.1 so the most expensive vehicle so far um, on four wheels this APC is 2.1 and with the Voltec motorbike the oppressor that one is 2.3 million so quite expensive vehicles if we manage to duplicate them and sell them forget about the lowriders okay this is the new big money uh, dupe vehicles which you need and of course if it is possible in the future obviously you also need the money you have to spend on these vehicles first before you can actually dupe them so start making money um, because eventually there will be a dupe um, glitch available with these vehicles it's just waiting uh, when it will happen so here you go um, going to the next part I'm gonna show you some uh, guns so with the research you can also uh, unlock a lot of upgrades for your gun and also a lot of tins but here you go I'm just gonna show you uh, how the gun looks like when it's maxed out here you go I just put for one simple design again delivery is yet again the geometric one and I just chose for the color white and I put all the most expensive upgrades on it which is available uh, the extended clip grip uh, scoop or the scope um, yeah as you can see uh, muzzles barrels um, flashlight and this is how it actually looks like when you put all the upgrades on those guns so yet again the upgrades are quite expensive so after you did the research you also need to spend money on the upgrades so when you keep upgrading um, the, the weapons and the cars the vehicles it's gonna eventually cost you a lot of money so in the previous two videos I already told you it was already 8.1 million to have everything started up but if you do, did all the research and buy all the upgrades you're gonna spend a lot of money so this is my favorite gun by far so when you even upgrade this gun to the combat MG MK2 this one is a really mean 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 machine so when you even can hear the sound because I knew that it sounds perfect that is the gun that you need to have and the last one is the heavy sniper so before I really get uh, to the end of this video I'm gonna show you one more thing actually two things what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna request the anti-aircraft trailer so I'm at the prison at this moment my bunker is not that far away so as you can see here your uh, your trailer your anti-aircraft trailer is gonna be delivered with a truck as you can see here so you can even uh, detach it so here you go you can drive around have your buddy uh, on the trailer already and have him remote the the trailer but I'm gonna detach it right over here and then drop my truck so I haven't figured it out that you can also uh, choose another personal vehicle to actually uh, uh, put the trailer behind uh, the vehicle so maybe it is possible just leave a comment down below if you know how to do it uh, here you go I'm gonna um, step out of this vehicle first and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for my bodysuit so I'm gonna have it delivered and the bad thing is there's a 15 minutes waiting time before you can actually request it again and it costs you every single time you're gonna request it five thousand dollars so here you go I have it right over there let's hop on this trailer right over here and let's have the cops chasing us here you go so this is how the anti-aircraft actually works I'm not gonna show you of all the water vehicles how they shoot um, but there you have it I just show you all the upgrades which is available for all the Warstock vehicles for all the guns uh, the tins that comes with it the new bodysuit the mock I spent all the money for you all you guys I hope you enjoyed this video uh, thanks for watching again and I see you on the next one Nick Vinoch signing out